way to H-E-B. We're coming H-E-B because we want to buy some Blue Bell ice cream and bring it all the way to California. Here it is, the Blue Bell ice cream. All right, here, hold this. I gotta find it. Homemade vanilla. Ooh, these are nice and frosty. Get this one. Homemade. All right, it's rock hard. It's frozen right now. So we're in Austin, Texas right now. We gotta get this to San Jose, California before it melts, so. We gotta get some dry ice. We need dry ice. Okay. Just bought some dry ice here. This is about six pounds. Now, what does it say here? Five to seven pounds of dry ice will keep things cold for 18 to 24 hours. So hopefully that, that should be enough for our trip to San Jose. So we should uh, we should put one block of ice on top, one block of ice on the bottom, Judy. That's what it said. Okay. Oh, but I can't touch this. Just use the Look at that, look at that, look at that, isn't that crazy? Alright. I'll just put these on top like that. Yeah, so the FAA lets you take up to five pounds on an airplane. So, hopefully this, hopefully they won't mind that we brought six pounds. We're in Phoenix right now. We just got in from Austin. This is our layover before we get to San Jose. Uh, back at the Austin airport, the TSA agent actually opened up our bag that had the dry ice in it. And they were asking us, like, what are we getting the dry ice for? They saw the Bluebell, laughed. I told them we can't get Bluebell in California. So they're like, okay, that, we, we totally understand. You guys can go. So they let us go with the dry ice and the Bluebell ice cream. Our layover actually got delayed by almost two hours, so I'm a little bit concerned that the Bluebell ice cream is gonna melt, but hopefully the dry ice does hold it up uh, until we get back to San Jose, we'll see. Check on the ice cream, Greedy. Okay, how is it? Okay, how's the, the Bluebell? Hard like a stone. Hard like a stone, okay, so we might be able to survive. I haven't seen how the Bluebell ice cream is right now. I don't know if it's melted or not. We're gonna take a look together, okay? All right, this is the unboxing video of my Bluebell ice cream. All right, so dry ice is still there. Here we go. It, the Bluebell is still frozen. It's rock solid. There's even frost on the outside. So the dry ice did do its job. It's been in my bag for nine hours, all the way from Austin, Texas. This afternoon, we had a layover in Phoenix for two hours, and we just got to San Jose, California. Nine hours total, and it's still frozen in a simple bag like this with, with like two blocks of dry ice. And that, that was all we need to do. And we're gonna be enjoying this with uh, maybe some of our lucky subscribers. You know, maybe you like and subscribe and write a comment, and maybe we'll share some Blue Bell ice cream with you. We got some extra dry ice right here and we're gonna pour some water on it to make the dry ice melt into air. Okay, go ahead. Let's do this, Judy. Alright, so we got blocks of ice right here. They look like ice, but don't you shouldn't touch them too much because they are they're much colder than regular ice. So if you're watching this at home, kids, don't touch it with your hands. It's not good. All right, Judy. Look at all the, look at all the gas. Look at all the air that's coming out. Let's see. Uh, one more time. 